Hey guys, are you working on your partner stunting? Are you a guy that's just getting into working on toss skills and you have a few mistakes that you're making that's keeping you from being able to have solid, consistent partner stunting? In this game film, we have an athlete that sent us a video of his toss hands and asked for some help and then actually implemented some of the changes that we suggested and sent us a video afterwards. So in this game film, you're gonna see some mistakes that he makes. We're gonna talk about things that we can do to correct it. And we're gonna actually show you exactly how he was able to correct his toss hands all in this video. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's take a look at the before video. So as we can see, this guy is a very, very big guy. He has the potential to be an extremely good partner stunter. What we see when he does his toss to hands is we get a lot of hinging at the hips. And this is going to drastically affect not only the power that he's able to create, but it also affects the direction that his top girl is gonna fly. So in this video, we're gonna show you three exercises to fix this toss and help clean up the direction and improve power. The first exercise we're gonna show you is called a goblet squat. This will help you to position yourself appropriately when tossing. For this exercise, what you would do is grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell and hold it directly in front of you, just like you would hold your girl. Now, this will be a little bit higher of a hand position than we would for a toss, but the goal with this is to reinforce that upright torso. So for this, you would grab your weight, hold it directly in front, lower yourself into the bottom of a squat position, and then aggressively stand back up. Repeat this exercise 10 to 15 repetitions for three sets. For our second exercise, we're gonna do two variations of a toss drill. Now for this, we're gonna be using two different medicine balls. One is a weighted sand ball. The other is a more soft, lighter ball that we can use for repetition. For this exercise or these two variations, we're going to mimic tossing our girl. The heavier ball will be used for generating power. And then our lighter ball will be used for conditioning for our toss. For this exercise, we would grab our ball, hold it directly in front of our body as if we were holding our top girl. Now, referring back to the goblet squat and that position that we maintain with the torso, we're gonna drop down into the bottom and then explode up, throwing the ball overhead. If we are using the heavier weighted ball for this exercise, we want to let the ball fall to the ground and reset. And we're looking for less repetitions here, looking for more power. If we're doing the lighter version of this, again, working on our conditioning, we'll maintain the same body positions but as we flow through our repetitions, the ball will strike the wall, we'll catch the ball overhead, lower back down into a squat, and repeat that for a higher volume of reps, usually in the 10 to 20 repetition range. For these two exercises, if you are unable to access a weighted sand ball or a medicine ball, what you can do is actually create one. You can grab some empty trash bags, you can fill them with sand and wrap duct tape all the way around. Seems a little utilitarian, but it will work and it will be able to give you the option to put as much sand in the bag or in your new ball as you would like to create as much weight and resistance as you'd like. And our last exercise is going to be a weighted plate ground to overhead. What this is gonna do is gonna kinda of tie everything that we did together and give you a broader range of motion. For this exercise, you would grab a weighted plate um, or anything that is about the width of your top girl and you would reach down and squat, tap the plate to the ground and then finish with the plate standing up overhead. This mimics kind of a snatch variation, which again is a Olympic lifting movement that mimics uh, partner stunting and basket tosses uh, very, very closely. So for this, again, we would hold our plate in front, hinge with the waist and squat down, tap the plate to the ground, aggressively drive up, maintaining contact with the plate overhead, back down and repeat. For this exercise, we'd like you to perform 10 to 15 repetitions again for three sets. So now that we've got our exercises, let's take a look at how his toss hands looks now. So as you can see, very, very big difference. Implementing things like this are very easy to do. And when your mechanics are right, it makes your partner stunning so, so much easier. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope that the things we showed you today are helpful with your partner stunning. If you feel like they will be, give me a thumbs up below and let me know how your partner stunning is going. If you'd like more videos like this, click on the link above. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, I don't know how many times I have to tell you, help us ding the YouTube stuff that happens behind the scenes. Click this right here. Follow us, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. We'll catch you on the next one.